Good news, everyday news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Today is the 18th of uh, August uh, 2022. Remember guys to like, share, comment and follow and turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss any of our new uploads that you do upload here. And uh, So guys, as Zimbabwe says, it's relations with South Africa are uh, cordial and rock solid despite our uh, reports to the contrary. Last week, a Zimbabwean daily publication reported that South Africa's International Relations and Cooperation Minister, Naledi Panda, has made unsavory remarks about Zimbabwe. Panda has just met Zimbabwe's Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Trade, Frederick Shawa, to discuss the expiry of the Zimbabwe exemption payments, that EP, among other things. But addressing journalists during a post cabinet media briefing on Tuesday, information, Publicity and Broadcasting Services Minister Monica Mchangwa said nothing could be further from the truth. She said there is an alleged negative comment by the South African International Relations and Cooperation Minister in our local papers. Cabinet noted with concern unfolded reports by a local daily publication attributing some comments to the Minister of International Relations in South Africa, Honorable Nalendi Panda. Government wishes to assure the nation that Zimbabwe enjoys excellent fraternal relations with South Africa. The statements attributed to the Honorable Minister are clear fabrication. Let me reiterate the need for the journalistic profession to stick to the detects of ethical reportage as we build our country towards attaining Vision 2030. May I also add that Honorable Naledi Panda is a great pan Africanist and seasoned diplomat who has and continues to demonstrate respect for the sovereign decisions of other nations. Panda was quoted by a Zimbabwean daily publication saying that it is difficult to assist Zimbabwe due to a lack of unity of purpose among politicians. In 2019, Panda was quoted by IOL as saying resolving Zimbabwe's social economic crisis will remain a pipe dream if political hostility remains the priority of parties, she said. Political formations in Zimbabwe remained at loggerheads and have apparent deep antipathy towards each other, which makes joint decision making and planning extremely difficult. It seems clear that even as we support the call for an end to economic sanctions, the political dynamics that we observe are inextricably linked to the economic solutions and thus should be confronted simultaneously. We would be assisted in playing a positive role if there was a shared notion in Zimbabwe of what had to be done. This is important for us because while we work very closely with the government of Zimbabwe, it would be difficult for us to be seen as well only working with the government. And so that's the truth. I mean, uh, they may want to rubbish it, but that's the truth. I mean, my political parties in Zimbabwe, they don't have the one goal which is uh you know moving zimbabwe forward because uh since 2018 up to now 2022 political party and i got you and they are development in the area uh this political party versus this political party versus this political party my politicians will be taking the limelight instead of which work once so on pamberi first and then watch is the two two months and yes Partner was in Gadekuti development ticket because when I was a benefitor, there's nothing if you take up and why you and but anyway, uh, this is uh, daily news, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Milan and Semi TV. The reason why South Africa is not renewing those payments, you all know the reason why it's because even one of my problems are now and Zimbabwe is contributing to those problems. Of course, they are benefiting again from those problems, but but actually, I'm going to uh, work in Zanoa Kwano Chaiwa woman, enough is enough. So South Africa one body change it all for the last uh, decade or so. So I just want to tell Zimbabwe. So I am not cut such a very cocoa. And yes, we am Karamucha, but not with a matter of a Karakuno was chose. And they have their own problems. They need to focus on their own problems. And uh, Zimbabwe with its own problems, which those people need to solve those problems. And so, I take a concert to one up and we chat to us about the other way to quit out to one so move Zimbabwe forward because uh, as it looks. 
tichiru kumashure and tiku tzikuro mashure lai tambo siya zwe politics pasi tambo ta zwe national development ya nyike eduga ayo lai zimbabwe parizu no tiku mberi no kumberi wego ya anika ya politics zungo tamba pa ma election seat no tiku ti every year even as it my elections uh zimbabwe winter nge ipa ma elections uh paka ipa this is a daily news breaking news everyday news on prince millenia tzeme tv remember guys to like share comment and follow bless up